This is the Doctor continuing the Battle Brothers Season 12 Anatomist playthrough. In the last episode, I managed to get ourselves three new pieces of Raider gear, and now I have I can field up to six characters. Seven if you count Rabdura's gear, although I don't really think it should count. It's only 65 uh, body armor, but depending on you. Well, not depending, because this thing's also 65 body armor. So six pieces of raider gear. That is enough, at least, to equip a front line full of raider characters, which is a very good thing. Uh, PF got a little injury, but he'll be fine in a couple days. In fact, it's not necessarily a bad idea to feed him a potion while he recovers. Um, Bloodgate Brew. Reduces bleeding damage. I think that's valuable on a character of high hit points, so it doesn't make sense. Reduce injuries. He's gonna get injured a lot. But he's also just gonna die, you know? I'd rather give this potion to someone a little more valuable. But, the way I understand it, these potions, they come back. Uh, they come back after you dismiss a character. I just have to kill another Nacho? Which should be pretty easy. So you know what, Pief? You're our first uh, candidate. Enjoy yourself a nacho potion. Uh, oh, look at that. And it's instant. Okay, both my injuries will heal by tomorrow. This is perfect. Fantastic. And uh, once he dies or I dismiss him, I kill another nacho. Get myself the potion back. So not a big deal. We're going to kill plenty of nachos. That's not a problem. Lots of level ups. All right, let's begin. Mortimer. Pretty self-explanatory. So you're just a frontliner? Gifted is a very, very good choice here? Yes, I think so. I think I'm going to gift it into Resolve. Um, uh, Krog, I think Robert Mitchell is his name on YouTube. He made a comment in the Discord about like how dangerous it is to like just lose a battle from lacking morale. Uh, and like your characters, if they die or uh, get hit, they get sent to fleeing and the host, like it chain routes your company. Uh, and I don't have a bannerman. So there's definitely an argument to be up being Resolve. I haven't been prioritizing it as much because normally Resolve is always good. Like, you can get the confident, like, you have a higher chance of getting confident when you up-resolve. You don't get that upside. You're just guarding against the downside. Uh, what else? He's also kind of a low fatigue character. Like, his fatigue is already so bad, I don't want to, like, up fatigue. There's another commenter that, like, said, oh, like, I'm assigning my perk points weird. Uh, not perk points, stat points weird, and builds weird, blah blah blah, like... Uh, to explain, like... I don't always pick the right stats, I'll admit that, but to explain, like, the reason for why I'm picking the stat ups, like, it's not actually random. And I'm trying pretty hard this campaign to do it the way I think is optimal. But it's too hard. Like, it would take me, like, hours to explain it. But at a high level, what I'm trying to do is build a combined arms team that has, like, every tactical option available. And that can fight every single possible enemy as, as efficiently as possible. And that means I will take certain perks just to guard against uh, enemies. I'll do um, Nataros next because this is going to blow your mind. I am going to up melee skill, range skill, and the garbage that range defense. Not gonna up hit points. I'm not gonna up resolve because this guy's a um, what you call it um, uh, a hybrid. So he's gonna be staying in the back. He's not going to uh, very likely not going to get into melee. I think I did up his melee defense by three. That might have been a mistake, but it's okay. Like you can get away with a little bit of inefficiency here and there. And the reason is I'm gonna give him anticipation because like he has to come on fights like the Goblin City. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about Goblin City. I'm worried about Gunners. Those are the things that, like, counter him. I'm not worried about Chosen. Uh, he's going to be in the back. I'm not worried about, like, Ancient Dead. He's going to be in the back. Like, are there even other enemies? Like, Orcs? He's going to be in the back. 
Uh, so, like, what can actually counter him? Goblins and gunners. How do you beat goblins and gunners? Anticipation. Uh, so, sometimes people uh, criticize anticipation as a perk where, like, you just don't get shot and the AI just shoots someone else. That's actually not entirely true. If you give your character intentionally bad armored, AI will take low percentage shots and you know who's gonna get intentionally bad armor at level 11 with anticipation, low settings. Uh, so the anticipation here in the Taros is, I think they might shoot him a couple times, but it's also to make sure he doesn't get ganked. Oh yes, it's to make sure he also doesn't get ganked by marksmen. Like, I don't wanna lose him to like two crossbow marksman headshots. Upping hit points by three is not gonna save him. Anticipation is gonna save him. And I can't afford to lose Nataros, like he's too valuable. A uh, low setting, he's our bannerman. Pretty self-explanatory level up right now. Um, he has absolutely garbage melee skill. He's never gonna do like anything besides like hold the banner for us. And that's all we need him to do. If he survives level 11, I would prefer not to bring him on the Goblin City or like Kraken or anything like that, but you know, it is what it is. Student, uh, you never know, like it could be the 32 Goblins or like I may just not have a better character. Like you never know, you never know. Aya, uh, gonna be fatigue neutral. So he probably doesn't need fatigue. I think he needs a little bit, but I've been skipping resolve way too much on this character can't afford to skip it anymore I'm very worried um, he has enough melee skill and he's been uh, like rolling very well so I'm gonna give him quick cans for shenanigans uh, let's get you a real dagger but the power is gonna be when I get him a reach weapon he's gonna do like uh, stuff with pole arms we're gonna find one sooner or later um, and then Klaus I'm gonna give Klaus the best armor because he has the worst resolve and the worst hit points. Uh, oh, he, he can't level up. Radura. Raptura. Melee skill. Now that I have an actual bannerman, um, I kind of regret taking that plus three resolve, but I couldn't have known that. I think I can get some plus five initiatives. Uh, I'm definitely getting initiative on him, but I don't want to pass up more resolve. Uh, he does have the superstitious thing, plus, like, I am a little worried about our characters just breaking. He might be on the front lines because he's going to get dodge, but this is probably the last resolve I take on this character. He should be okay in the back, and right now I can field him in the front, which is, like, necessary. Uh, plus, like, he's going to get a little bit of fearsome value, but that's... Not a significant consideration. Aya. Um, same deal. I'm very worried about your resolve problems. Or not Aya, Lord Irva. Um, fast adaptation. 62 looks impressive, but without the confident buff, he's not going to hit enough without fast adaptation. All right. Very good. Repairing gear, so now I'm gonna head back to town. Might as well have a net here, Aya. All right, let's see, 450 crowns. Is there another contract? No. Trader in the north got lost in the steps. I don't actually know what this means. I don't think, I mean, I know there's a camp north of there, but it came from another rumor. It didn't come from that. Is this guy a nomad? I mean, he's got the nomad gear. I've never seen... Uh, I mean, I'm not hiring him, but, like, it's interesting. Never seen um, a southern character spawn in one of these towns before. I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, ooh, okay, cheap dyes. I would like to buy up all of these and sell them at the next town. So let me do some inventory management. Uh, I'm going to sell off this Undertaker's of apron. It honestly doesn't look that great. Uh, plus, like, can't be running around in 30 armor. Uh, and now I have one day's pay. I could sell off the silverware to try to buy one more die, but I also get a slightly better price for silverware. And I have to sell off the silverware. I guess I could sell off the silverware and the mace. Probably going to make, what, like, um... Well, this... 
Sounds already 16. Yeah, I think three die will be enough. We have enough pay for one day. That's all we need. Uh, there could be another ambush up here. We can go to Granifist, sell that those dies off real quick. Net another 300 crowns from doing that. And then I'll head north here. Uh, there should be a town over here. Plus, there's a tavern I want to pay for some rumors. I'll figure it out once I get to Granite Fest. Alright, got to Granite Fest. I consider traveling through the fog, but uh, I want to make sure I get here and sell my stuff off so I can head off. Uh, fighting men at Dorn. Okay, so there's definitely a contract over there. There's a cheap squire. Relatively cheap. Uh, ooh, very nice. Prices here are pretty good. I'll take it. Good enough. Price for tools is okay, but we, like, need more tools. I'll buy at least one stack. Price for weapons is decent. This is a citadel, so it's the best. Um, I don't need two flails, so I'll keep that one. I, I mean, three flails, that's too many. Good. Saving good money. Might get the ambition to get the banner. Uh, any, like, cheap bill hook. Sometimes you can find, like, a cheap bill hook. So, I could go to Dornan, where I know there's work. Or, I can head north. There's a battle here. Could be an ambush. Dornan does have dyes. But the work could suck, you know. Boy, this is tough. Let's pay for a round of rumors. Um, okay. Well, that really sucked. 75 go down the drain, but it's okay. I'm going to check the armor for a heater shield. Famed item. Can't, so, uh, early heater shield is one of the best uh, upgrades you can get. PF here is almost certainly going to get a heater shield uh, next. And shield mastery. Back, he's good enough to put back on the front lines. Oh, I should do um, Nataros with a crossbow. That way he has uh, maximum tactical options. He doesn't have growing mastery yet, so like, this is better. Do I have any other characters? Mortimer, don't you have, um, you don't have quick hands though. I, I couldn't decide what to give you. Probably gifted. I think it's got to be gifted, right? Like, just need the stats right now and up your resolve. In some fights, I might equip a bundle of javelins to try to trick the AI because you have enough attack. Uh, I'm considering buying the second heater shield. Value does go down unless I get a second character with shield expert, which would be Klaus, but he's not close to it yet. Don't want to lose the heater shield to like some stupid thing. This town is in the middle of the map. Should be able to come here pretty regularly and we'll be able to pick up another heater shield at a later point. Save my money now. Alright, so normally if I didn't have the rumor about Dornan having work, I wouldn't even consider going there. But, two dies is 200 more crowns. And whatever contract. Plus I can head east, which I have to do anyway. Whereas if I go north, it's unclear whether we can even get into a fight. It would be great if we can, but no guarantee of that. So I'm going to head to Dornan. Uneventful trip. Two skull contract. Beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you. Follow the tracks. Uh, I am going to negotiate for more pay. I don't really care that much about the rep with this town. 40 more crowns. Yes, I'll take it. Uh, lots of witch hunters. I'm not going to hire any of them. I'll do the contract and then come back and buy the die. Price should be better. Uh, and let's see, Dawn, so I'm not, Battle Standard, it's tempting to do this, but I just need the Battle Standard, like, just need it. Um, 
I don't care about like plundering a, um, a rune. In fact, I can't even plunder anything until I like get that battle standard. Way too risky. Okay, please be six raiders or eight raiders or something like that. To be lots of free money. All right, come on. Beautiful, I love it. There could be a necromancer, so we have to make sure we are prepared. All right, this time they have no archers, so we're gonna have three guys with shields. Mortimer and Piff is gonna stab away. Uh, in fact, Piff really should have better armor. Abdura, you have dodge. Um, who has nine lives? I, uh, Lord Erva, you have nine lives. You can have the worst armor. So, giving. I know these are guys with shields, but they need to be able to hold the front lines. Back to uh, Rageous. There you go. That looks better. Then our guys with initiative. Uh, double gripping weapons on the right. Less armor, and then Krog and Aya uh, on the left with flails. Oh, I have another piece of 90 armor. Uh, you have nine lives, right? Rages, here. There you go. That looks good. Honestly, this cultist hood on low settings is very confusing, but it is what it is. Need to dagger every... Don't join the battle, nobles. Don't do it. Good. Come on. Without the scout, I am so slow. All right. What do we got? Flail target. Dagger target. I mean, might as well dagger that one, too. Uh, he's got crappy weapons. This is a very easy fight, but I record it. I don't know why the contracts are so easy right now. Can I do anything with this high ground? The answer is no. Yeah, you know, shift our guys to the right, so we'll wait. It's possible I may take no damage this fight, although that's a little optimistic. Golden Dog is very dangerous. All right, he's vulnerable to a crossbow. All right. more. Okay, characters with initiative. I'm not gonna throw. Put Paul Soul to deal with that one. Four. Okay, you should be safe there. Shouldn't even need any nets. Two, three, four. Four, so. Nerd squad. Taro shoots in a miss. We'll step back one. We'll Both settings in the middle. Frog over here. Klaus. We're gonna. Don't want the heater shield getting broken. There's a Mortimer over there. Klaus, you, you go tank that one. Any drawing weapons? Oh, that's okay. Since they all waited, I'm gonna wait. Let them come up at me. And because they waited, they're all gonna go slow too. Uh, except for Klaus, he's gonna double stab and end his turn immediately to try to go fast. 
Aya, you're not going to need a net, so drop it. Get your double grip buff. Taros. Chuck your javelins. Well done. That didn't work, by the way. I would have moved Mortimer over. Oh! Jeff over there. Rages are pretty quick, but you don't have a shield. I don't want it. Nataros can take two hits from this raider. He's got a crappy short sword. He can't actually do anything. Piff has to go there. Like, he just has to. Rages is pretty quick, and they did wait. So I'm going to bank on that working. Alright, where's mess up low settings? I should consider moving Krog. I don't want to get him like double thrown by the axe here. So just wait. Krog, you have dodge. You'll be okay, buddy. There. Good. It's fine. Order of a con ah, they are fast. Oh, oh, Paul. So you're okay, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. Raptura, you're also okay. Um, let's target the dangerous enemies. Now we're just gonna attack and end our turns immediately. All right, that's fine. Good heater shield. Rages did not break. Let's hit the raider. As you can see, these stabs ain't even proc any morale checks, which is how we would have beaten him. Good, all right, that one's dealt with. Move Krog over, get ready for the flail to the head. Wait on Paul's soul. That one's doing nonsense. 62%, that's not great. 51%, that's also not great. Taros, you can bust out a dagger to increase your accuracy. That's not good. F weights, Mortimer, 48%, 86%. That's pretty good. I'll take it. All right. Because of the fast adaptation, it doesn't even consume fast adaptation. Pretty solid. I should have moved Paul Soto over here and end his turn immediately. I could also net this raider, but I don't think that's necessary. Else, you move up. All right, fifty-four percent. Well done, Aya. Killed that guy with the flail, and we got his armor. Probably. Eh, probably. Well, swapping to the dagger gave me a little bonus chance to hit. It was worth it, if only for that. Ah, you're fine, Lord Herb. Ow. 
Accurate little bastard, huh? Pretty confident in getting this guy's armor. Good. Order of vote to kill. 62%, sure. Well done. Another kill. Got a bundle of throwing axes as well. Whoa! Abdur is actually in a bit of trouble. Might net that one. Mortimer, get over here. Okay, we might be able to... As we kill that one, proc more morale checks. Low settings, you're actually kind of valuable. Stab. Get Klaus up there. Okay, good. Another beautiful fight. Got ourselves three pieces of radar armor, helmet, hand axe, boar spear. Um, I mean, I want the game to keep feeding me battles like this. It's really good for us right now. So I have a few level ups. Klaus, oh, plus three. Good work, buddy. I'll take the resolve if you're going to be tanking at Nimbo. I will also up fatigue, but you have a star in there. So you're going to get those uh, pretty consistently. I'm not going to go for dodge, I don't think. You could definitely see get value out of it. I haven't decided yet. I really want to go fortify my I'm just worried about like these guys breaking. I'm more worried about that than anything else. Beautiful work, Rageous. Beautiful. Did I um I did in fact give you dodge. I wanna get you a little more initiative. Not too much more, you just... Oh, what was your resolve? Plus two? Okay. Let's get that. So I want to exploit the difference between initiative and fatigue to uh, maximize not just dodge, but like the ability to go quick. 63 attack. But you have an extra star compared to like Lord Over. You might actually be able to get away... I'm actually, I'm tempted to go relentless on you right away. I haven't decided yet. All right, Paul Soul? Uh, yeah. Uh. Sure, I'll take the attack. You're not gonna live long enough, buddy. Like, you're just gonna die. So, before you die, what can you do for us exactly? You can also get dodge. It's actually not terrible. You can get a lot of value out of dodge, especially from uh, protecting yourself against like marksmen. What else does anything? Backstabber? No, you, you throw weapons a lot. You're not going to be long for us. Executioner, but you have the debuff, the dastard thing. You might tank. I've been upping your melee skill. Sure. Um, I could also go for like executioner stuff. I haven't figured it out on Rageous yet. He's gonna be some sort of two hand build, so quick hands is also good. I just don't have a reach weapon to exploit it with. Yeah, backstabber is also good because I don't like. He's going to go some sort of two-hander thing, so Backstabber could get a lot of value compared to fast adaptation. Oh, tricky, tricky. All right, back to Dornan. All right, 2,000 crowns, and I can get a banner. Uh, but low settings needs to level for us to even take advantage of the banner. I want to trade the die. Actually, I can't get the banner yet. I have to buy tools to repair. Bit of grains, so might as well pick up the two die. I'm gonna sell off some of the garbage here. All right, let's follow the road northeast. 
from Dornan. Are these peasants headed back? Winberg. Don't know where that is. What is this one? Sea camp. Huh. From all the way over here, huh? That's impressive. Oh. It's... Oh, the peasants left Dorn. Makes sense. Now that's interesting. That group of nobles keep headed south. I don't know if they can actually go to the southern cities during the non-holy war. I assume they can. Oh, a mountain. Well, aha! That could be brigands. Yes! literally another perfect fight and they came from the east so there's likely to be a camp which could be weakened now that they sent out a patrol so i'm tempted to go find that camp and kill it but these seven um brigands another perfect battle that i have to take um come on brigands they must be headed over here to ambush something hmm I didn't think they would travel this far. I really need that uh, scout. I need so many things and so much money. I guess we're back to Granite Fest, but it's okay. Uh, chasing down these brigands easily worth the time. Too bad we go very slow at night. Uh, well, now that I'm back at Granite Fest, I might as well go there and head north to sell. I mean, head north to find another town. Uh, I will record this battle, I think. Just to low settings here, have some better armor. Uh, you know what? Nataros should wear the uh, physician's gear, the witch doctor. This is a witch doctor gear from, um, from Darkest Dungeon. Exact same setup. I don't need to assign Rages his perk point because this is an easy fight. This all looks very good. Same deal. I want all their loot. Oh, come on. Oh, well, just bring me closer to Granite Fest. What do we got here? Four more pieces of gear. I want all of it. Um. Dagger Dagger, net, probably gonna net that one to get his gear, he's actually dangerous. Uh, flail Flail, I need to pull out a lot more daggers. Good. Good, yes, go there. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Ready? Aya, swing and miss. And your turn immediately. Fifteen defense. That's actually not very impressive. I'm gonna bust out daggers on all these guys. Uh, except you, Raptura. You're gonna stab that thug. So you might as well wait. We'll wait here on Klaus as well. Pief is gonna come here. He's almost currently a shield wall. is going to come here stab and your turn immediately so you can go fast injured shoulder that raider is basically done kiff should be able to shield wall tank very effectively for a little bit i'm going to move klaus over here this guy's going to get blocked so
control him for now. Get ready for a rose. Well done, the Tauros. I always mess up low settings position. All right. Frog, good. Crush windpipe. That one's basically done. We'll put Raptura here to get ready to stab that thug. Plow smoothing. Stab away. Should wall piff. Yeah, he's Mortimer is fine. He's got the armor to take it. Yep, as expected, the thug fell from my cunning trap. That raider's got a spear, but he can't do much. I wanna. Actually, no, I wanna go fast. Let's move Lord Irva up. Stab, and your turn immediately. Rages up. Stab, and your turn immediately. Gonna go for stun that miss. Ooh! Oh, okay, he didn't really do anything. Uh, low settings. Am my... Just end your turn, Paul Soul. 63%. I don't actually want to kill that thing. I don't want him to come in here. I want him to go there because dodge. I have Lord Irva with dodge, so we're going to wait here on Paul Soul. Uh, I'm going to wait here on Nataros. No, Nataros can double throw. I, I should have single thrown, actually. But it's fine. Rapdura, good job. And your turn immediately. Aya, 38%. 37. It's very fatiguing. Whereas a puncture would do the trick. He's going to drop his shield wall next turn. Because he's got a crush windpipe. And he's going to just be able to stab once. Uh, let's wait. Same deal here. Wait. Same deal here on Krog. Wait. I want to see what they do. Tempting to double stab here. If this guy moves in here against PF and Mortimer, that's acceptable. Oh, he's uh, reposting. I didn't even see that. Okay. Now I'm going to wait. Okay, couldn't even break out of his net. Beautiful. 53%. I don't honestly care about the repost. Alright, now. Good throws. I can move Klaus up. Try to proc a morale check. But then I would need to tank with Klaus. It's got the armor to tank it. I think I'll take the risk. Shield wall. You'll, you'll be okay, buddy. You'll be okay. Frog, drop that. In fact, you almost certainly go for the puncture. 42%, 15%. Wait for a slightly better opportunity. Okay, Lord Irva, 36%. It's gonna keep spamming these punctures. Normally, I don't attack enemies that are fleeing, but it might proc a morale check. Good. We'll move up there up. Okay, they're all broken. I still prefer to stab there just in case like it didn't break them. That one's honestly not dangerous. Uh but Nataros, if I move here. No, I can't actually move there. Alright, never mind. Wait. 24%. Let him stab once. No big deal. Oh. Good one yourself, Klaus. Get the... Make sure we kill that one. Alright, this is fantastic. Uh, Mortimer. Get up there. 
Get ready to stab. Alright, his armor's a little ding, but not really. Taros, get over there. Yep, broke him. Go for the puncture. Aya over, get ready for the dagger fun. Frog over, get ready for the dagger fun. Still need to do all this because, like, their armor? Um, I need the armor. I'll move her up. Okay, and now we have a perfect surround. Oh, whoops, never mind. All right, his armor is a little more dinged up, but that's not a problem. So I got all the armor, took basically no damage, which I actually needed to do this fight, because um, like we don't have a full set of radar armor, and now I do. Um, let's see, took a couple of hits here and there, but no one was in any actual danger. Four pieces of armor, two pieces of headgear. Beautiful, another flail, another boar spear. This is all loot that I actually need. Uh, now I just need some pikes. But this, like, this is beautiful. All these 110 armors, I can now outfit a full set of gear. And with pieces of backup armor to spare. And I should be able to sell off my loot to get... The ambition to proc to get a banner. I think I have some level ups. Uh, where are you? Oh, low settings. You're 60 XP away from like fortifying mine and the power of that banner. Okay. Well, this is a good place to pause the episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time.